I've been growing my video game collection for probably about 8 years now, except for the games that of course I've had in my childhood. I passed up a lot of games back then that I thought were too expensive, and that have now doubled in price or even more. It really does beg the question, am I too late to start video game collecting? I understand it can be quite daunting to walk in your local video game store and find a game that you're feeling nostalgic for, only to realize that it even costs more now than when it first released new. I mean, how are you able to build an entire collection for a console with prices that high? Well, I gotta say it's quite simple, but it just takes time. Obviously, I would love to rush out there and buy a bunch of games that I'm missing for the collection as well, but I would need to take out a loan in order to do that. But I gathered up a couple of tips to help you start your video game collection now in 2022. Number one is just check your local video game shops and pawn shops. Pawn shops especially are a good place to look around. Obviously some pawn shops just do look up eBay prices and just slap on the highest price and try to sell their games that way, but still sometimes you can find a diamond in the rough. That or you could find a video game that was originally cheaper but now has gone up in price and a pawn shop hasn't made any adjustments. Also just check your local game store, they might have a, a loyalty rewards program. The one in my area offers $10 off after you buy X amount of games, which I always use to uh, help lower the cost on the more expensive titles that I want to buy. Number two is an easy one and you should definitely do it and it's let your family and friends know you're into collecting video games. Seriously, this can be a huge one. This usually means that they will come to you first when they are considering selling their video games and let you uh, look through their collection first or just uh, sometimes even give you the whole thing. Honestly, it's a massive step on how you can continue to grow your collection. And number three is garage sales. I'll admit I'm the guy that if I drive past a garage sale sign, I'm usually whipping around trying to find it. Typically this is where I can pick up like some of the cheapest games because someone is just like basically trying to get rid of what they have. Also, if they don't have their video games out, I'll always ask them, do you have any video games inside that you're willing to part with? Then I'll have them bring the system and games out. I'll look it over and I'll just shoot them an offer right away. Also buy the entire lot, even if you're not quite interested in everything in it. This is a great way to get one lump sum and get the best deal that you can on it. If there's stuff that you didn't quite need in the lot, you can always take it to your local video game store, try to flip it and uh, help that go towards your main cost. There's a great YouTuber that I follow named CJR that he does fantastic garage sale videos. I'll have him linked below. In the end, it's definitely still possible to grow a video gaming collection in 2022. It just may be a little bit harder, but there's definitely still deals out there waiting to be found. I mean, it's taken me eight years to get to this point, so just imagine what my game shelf is going to look like in another eight years. Also, thanks for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the content, and I also hope that you stick around for another video.